Uh, it's one of the biggest games of the tournament so far in Group F. Uh, world champions France take on Germany. So I tell you what, who better to speak to about this one than a man who has won a World Cup and a European Championships with France. Delighted to say Tim Thornton has been speaking to Christian Carambo. I'm delighted to say we're joined now by a World Cup and European Championship winner, Christian Carambo. Christian, thanks for your time today. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's just start then by assessing the chances of France at this tournament. Are they the team to beat? Of course, I think it's one of the favourites of that competition. And uh, indeed, they have already demonstrated that they are uh, capable to win a big tournament as the uh, World Championship last uh, two years ago. So uh, I think that Didier Deschamps is also trying to care about this group. So as if they, didn't have, uh, they, they need to qualify in a very, very tough and competitive uh, 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 draw, so uh, we'll see. You talk about the tough and competitive group, it doesn't come any more difficult than this group. Does that create an extra pressure that they have to be in top form right from the very first whistle? I think that it's very good to start with a, a very difficult group because they need to be concentrated, they need to uh, act and, and of course, uh, deliver the best they can to qualify. So uh, not only for France, but for all the, 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 the teams. And this is very good to, uh, to be in the competition already uh, ready and uh, committed. You were a midfielder for France, Paul Pogba playing that position at the moment. Is this a, a tournament where he can really shine? Of course, uh, yeah, again, in two games, two friendly games, we saw his uh, ability uh, to perform, uh, to uh, um, uh, how say that to deliver passes, but also uh, to guide and control the game. And I think that he's a leader of that, uh, on that team, as if Karim Benzema came back again. But Paul, yes, I think that uh, of course we cannot uh, talk about Paul uh, alone because. On his side is also N'Golo Kante. <laughs> and Kante, it must be a dream to play alongside the, the amount of work that he puts into every game. He's a key player, I think, that he, because he can play many positions. Uh, but I think that uh, after this long championship uh, in, in the Premier League and also in the uh, Champions League competition, he gave uh, what we expect from him, that he's still uh, at his best. And uh, hopefully he will uh, redo again with the French national team, yes. And lots of striking options. Benzema, as you mentioned, has come back into the, the squad. But Olivier Giroud continues to score on a consistent basis for France. How important is he? True. I think that um, uh, Olivier Giroud is uh, he's a player where... Uh, uh, he can be the, the one that nobody expects, but he's always there because uh, he's a professional and also he's a killer. And I think that uh, he understand that uh, the moment he come in Chelsea or in a French team, he need to deliver the best. And I think that uh, you can see that uh, every movement is short just to be efficient. And he has shown that again in the last game and he's close uh, to Thierry Henry's record on goaling and uh, goaling score. So I think that uh, uh, Olivier Giroud is very important. Of course, we talk about Karim Benzema because he he can play uh, with with the others. Is there is a fluidity when they they play? Uh, but at least uh, there is no uh, for the Deschamps. There is no way to educate them. Uh, uh, about the automatism. I think that they 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 um, they reach each other on the game. They read each other on the game. Sorry, and they can. Uh, they are all uh, complementary. So um, this is very good. What is it like to play in these major tournaments for France? Is there a huge pressure and expectation? I think that they should not uh, think like this because um, I saw on the on the news already that they might do as we have done, world champion and European champion. I think that uh, they have uh, the talent to do. Uh, we don't need to push them. 
uh, they can um, uh, succeed to do so and uh, because uh, they have the talent and I think that uh, Didier has a, uh, will have uh, the headache uh, to make his uh, first rooster because uh, all the talents he has oof, they can play everywhere and any, in, in any clubs. And a big talking point at the moment going into this tournament is players taking the knee. The England players, for example, have been booed by some of their own fans. Are you in favour of it? Is it the right thing to do? I think that uh, the movement has started from USA and, uh, and it's kind of uh, educational uh, matter. And, and it's good to communicate. It's good to, uh, uh, to, to have this conscience uh, after in the end, we need to uh, also give the place to our sport, to football. Uh, but of course, I think that is a, is a good uh, way to make people understand what is happening in the world. And But not only kneels, kneeling, but we can also say many things on the interviews or whatever. But yes, I think after it depends on uh, the competition, UEFA will allow them, uh, I don't know. And you played in England, so can I ask you about... England's chances in the tournament. Do you think England can go far? Yes, after this uh, Champions League uh, competition and the Premier League uh, uh, championship, we can see that the English uh, players has grow a lot and they are all young, uh, Mount, uh, Wells, um, uh, Foden and so on. I think that you have a... Sancho, you have beautiful and great players now and, and talented, of course, uh, uh, with a Hurricane or Sterling as experienced players. Uh, and, and I think that uh, because of this Champions League where two uh, clubs ha have been through, we can consider that, yes, the English one will be very, very uh, uh, dangerous and we need to be careful about the, the, England, uh, the English squad. Sorry. Well, it's been a pleasure to talk to you today. Thanks for, for sharing your views and joining us on the show. Thank you.